Yo, what is going on everybody? It is your boy and Blazing back with a gameplay commentary for you guys. Another throwback game. As you can see, man, Infinite Warfare. One of the most underrated Call of Duties in my opinion. And just man, oh man, does this game bring back such, such good memories. Not only from my channel, but just for the time when this game came out. Summer time, the content that was being dropped. Everything, man. And there's just so many positives about this game that it's just... You would think it would have been one of the better games, but nobody really gave it a chance in my opinion and that's what made it really flop. Now, if you saw my MWR video, like the, like why is this game dead and all that stuff, um, the reason why this game is mostly underrated is because everybody played MWR over this game just because that's a game that everybody knew. This game, you know, wasn't boots on the ground, it was a jetpack cod, people didn't know about it, like people didn't want to give it a chance because it was a jetpack cod, it was different, all that stuff, yada yada yada, they were tired of it jetpacks so they went to mwr some boots on the ground but man if they would have separated the time of those games being out like if they would have made mwr out in summertime this game would have had so much like more populated servers so many more people would have enjoyed this game because this game actually wasn't bad at all this game just in general had so many positives like i had to see like if you had the season pass in this game you literally got awarded things just for getting on the game and unlike treyarch games you can just get stuff by not having to spend money on some pipe drops. You, you didn't have to spend money on some pipe drops at all. All you really had to do was get the season pass. Or even that, you still got daily bonuses for even getting on the game without a season pass. Like All you had to do was play the game. They had challenges. So many guns, like so many different variants. It made the game so refreshing that they keep dropping new variants and new things. It was just so refreshing. Score streak variants. Literally most important. Uh, this game was just amazing. We have a VSAT in this game, but not in Black Ops 4, when every Black Ops game has had a VSAT until this one, which absolutely makes no sense in my opinion. But that's a different topic for a different video, which probably will be made tomorrow. And man, like I said, this there was just so many positives to this game. I really wish that people would have gave this game more of a chance because there was just so many good things. The weapon balancing, I think this game had some of the best weapon balancing. Infinity Ward does a good job about making guns pretty balanced because in the beginning there wasn't really any variants and some guns weren't as good as others but you put variants in the game and like I said they weren't hard to get. All you really had to do was play the game and if you got a duplicate supply drop you could pretty much what was it? I think it was like salvage and you could just buy and craft weapons and it just oh my god this game was just so good. Then they had certain uh, variants where they were called a Mark II. So every kill you would get, you would get 15% more XP. Then they ended up adding double XP tokens you can use after a game. So if, let's say you got 100 kills and you got like 70,000 XP. You can just use it after the game and get 140,000. This game was just, there was, just, oh man. Like I when I was playing this game, man, I was having so much fun. Like this game... One of the few games on next gen where it's like you want to play it and you just keep having fun and you just don't want to do anything else you just want to keep playing it and this game is just one of those few games it's just one of those few games call of duty wise that it just has some replay value in my opinion and for those of you that never gave this game a chance you really did miss out on a good game uh this is the first game to ever have score streak variants and the score streak variants were absolutely great um, you had the constant VSAT because in the beginning the VSAT wasn't constant. It would just it was like a regular event. You would be like an MW3 where it would just scatter and it wasn't constant. But you had the upgraded one, the epic one, and it was absolutely constant. And if you were a tryhard in this game, you know that epic event UAV got you so many nukes, and it was just the key to so many great gameplays. And everybody knows this. And once you got that, it was a wrap for everybody in the lobby, man. Unless you shot it down. Then the warden wasn't as good as it, it. It was good, but it wasn't as good. So you got the um, the legendary one, which I think is the purple one that had the dual cannons. Oh my god, this game, man! So many things in the nukes. I actually enjoyed having a game where I can get a nuke, actually a nuke and not a nuclear or a metal, and being able to have a nuke and have it just change the map and all that stuff. In this game, it didn't really change the map as far as like damage the map. It just made it darker, like a usual game. Nothing wrong with that. I actually kind of prefer that in some instances. I'm like like Ghost or previous games where it, like Ghost when it changed the map and some maps, but not all of them. And I guess one main negative that everybody had about the game, like like I said, it just wasn't boots on the ground, and that just turns a lot of people off from wanting to play certain games. Like Advanced Warfare was the same thing. It was the first game to have EXOs. And people weren't really into that. And, you know, it was a good turn. 
I guess you could say it wasn't the, the greatest turn because that's when supply drops started and they made a billion dollars off of it and they continued it. Now it's in every game you look that has multiplayer, has some sort of supply drops and you just see all this stuff. Every company is making millions and millions off of it. This is because Call of Duty invented that for the most part. Not truly invented it because CSGO had it before, but they just made it more popularized in uh, FPS. And like I said, they ended up making millions and millions of dollars, even billions in some instances. But the game, the thing that separates this game from or Infinity War from Treyarch games and Treyarch games in the past, even maybe even Black Ops 4, if you can consider it. Yeah, they're, they're voice, they, they force you to buy so many different things that it's like you don't want to buy. But in Infinity War, they've been so good to us to where we don't have to buy certain things. We can just get stuff by playing the game. They reward us by playing the game in this game. They reward you by even just getting on the game. I got on this game today. And as soon as I got on, I got 60 uh, keys just for getting on the game and having the season pass. Like, it's a little bit more biased towards season pass holders. But at the same time, you still get stuff even for not having the season pass. So, I don't know what more people could want in this game. And it's just like, it was just so underrated. People didn't really give this game a chance. And there's just so many good memories. It was such a great summer. So much good content. They dropped so much good content, summer events. Between this and MWR, there was just so much good content. It was a good year all around, I feel like, for I wouldn't say it wasn't the best year for Call of Duty because the, the community was pretty split between the two CODs. But it was a pretty good and successful year, I'd say. This is like one of the years where I really blew up also. I was streaming this game for like multiple hours, getting thousand viewed streams. And it was just insane, man. It, I was me just dominating the lobby. So many new variants, epic variants, everything. Some of the best guns in this game, you know, the MP4 Fallout, the Honey Bee. Uh, you got the Raw, the, the Nuke variant, the RPR Evo. It was just so many games, the Sandy Ravage. And even the Mac Tab 45, just so many good things in this game. So much, such a good variety. The story mode was good. Zombies, I guess. I don't know what you were looking for in zombies. I wouldn't say Infinity War is the best at making zombies games, but they did a decent part, I guess. You know, it was fun. It was cartoonish. I guess it was fun. That's how zombies is meant to be. It wasn't really a game where I felt like it was based mostly on Easter eggs like Treyarch. That's Treyarch's bread and butter right there. Is zombies, in my opinion, over anything? To be honest, they do so much great detail on zombies. It's absolutely insane. Can nobody ever touch their zombies work? But all in all, let me know what you guys think of Infinite Warfare in your opinion. Let me know what you guys some of the favorite moments, favorite guns, favorite streaks, favorite anything. Just let me know, man. Cause like I said, I had so much fun throughout this year when this game came out and it's prime and all that stuff. Just so many enjoyable moments, whether it was streaming or playing and grinding, actually grinding a game that I enjoyed. And like I said, it's just so many, so, so many moments. Let me know some of you guys' favorite moments on this game. Or let me know if you actually played MWR over this game or if you didn't give it a chance. And if you didn't give it a chance, let me know why. And if you didn't give it a chance because it, you just didn't have the game, let me know. You know what I mean? Just let me know what you thought of it. And all that good stuff, man. Just let me know. I like to read your feedback. And I just like to see your honest opinions and responses to the overall gaming question. If you made it this far in the video, comment down deatomizer strike and if you got a deatomizer let me know how many you had i think i had like somewhere around two to three hundred around this game and oh man there was just so many different things you can get a nuke with combat knife the snipers everything it just made this game so much fun but like i said if you made it this far in the video comment down deatomizer let me know how many you got and it's been your boy and blazer man hopefully you guys have all had a great day evening 1 a.m 1 p.m wherever you are in the world and i love you all hope you all have had a wonderful time hope you all enjoyed if you're new make sure you subscribe if you did enjoy drop a thumbs up does help the channel grow more than you know and it's been your boy and blazing i'm out peace
soon as I walk out, they stand there. I had be patient for this. I'm the man now, I was the man then. I had my way with a bitch. I'm the man now, I was the man then. I put some ice on my wrist.